I'm Hendra Vijaya and as you know in SW board you guys will be know me as Coldus. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, and now I'm working with jackreview.com for it's the biggest website, review website in Indonesia now for component PC and gadget. And in the in Jagger Review we built a special team for overclocking only. It's called Jagat OC. And in Jagat OC, we everyone will know it's a lucky noob team, right? Uh, he's the our Jagat overclocking head team, and I'm as his college. I'm work with him, and also for the Jagat OC, I'm specialized for gigabyte motherboard and 3D benchmark. Uh, my education. I take a computer engineering degree, but honestly, I want to take the embedded system specialty. But at that time, it's a unluckily I cannot get in the embedded system. They put me at the computer robotic system. Uh, I joining uh, some computer club in my university. It's called BNCC, Bina Nusantara Computer Club. In uh, that computer club, we have uh, some built some magazine that talk about the PC computer, and I in charge in some review at that time. Uh, because uh, I in charge in review hardware, I learned to do some benchmark on VGA card, motherboard, and anything from 2008. But at that time, I borrow some graphic card like a Gigabyte GTX 9800. At that time, I do some review, and uh, but after the review done, there's some one of senior uh, in one of Indonesian senior overclocking that work with Gigabyte called Benny Ludwig. They say, "What the hell with this review? The score is very low. You are using the GTX 9800, but your pro CPU is only Core 2 Duo E4300, and it's only run stock." Stock speed 1.8 gigahertz. At that time, Benny just take the 9800 GTX card and put in his system with Core 2 Duo E8400 and overclock in 4 gigahertz. This the ratio. This the default 3 gigahertz and this 4 gigahertz. Okay, that's from that start I learning my overclocking. That's why at that time I just buy the Gigabyte board X48 DQ6 for my first motherboard for overclocking and run overclocking and buying some new CPU from Corto Duo from Lucky Noob and the, from Lucky Noob I'm using the E8200 and overclocking 4 GHz at that time wow after it's from when I running the 3D06 the score increased a lot a lot from Core 2 Duo E4300 1.8 GHz and, and chance to Core 2 Duo E8200 4 GHz it's increased a lot even my gaming experience in that like I Call of Duty 4 when I play at that time it's increased from 60 FPS to 120 or 130 something so I don't need to upgrade my GPU again up until now is already almost seven years. It's for two first my first two years is only for casual gaming. So at that time uh, I won't just want to optimize my system and then at 2009 yeah there's a overclocking competition. I'm interested in joining it. At at that time my first competition oh okay let's try my overclocking skill in this competition but absolutely at that time I'm losing miserably at and in that competition that's the my first time I meet up with Lucky Noob at that competition Lucky Noob teach me how the how you run the PC Mac 2005 with the right tweak it increased a lot at that time the most miserable what I lost is I get the best CPU at that time. Can run the Core 2 that can run 40.3 GHz 
on air for the competition but I cannot win because I don't know the PC Mark 2005 tweaks from that I just don't want to give up and learn about the tweaks and until now uh, 2010 because I keep the don't give up for overclocking finally the lucky noob get me become the disciple his disciples until now I keep over my skill is increased a lot after lucky noob teach me how to overclock even the extreme overclocking even for the extreme overclocking I sell all my water cooling kit water custom custom water cooling kit for just to buy the LN2 port at that time. My original reason is I just want to upgrade my PC but at that time my budget is very limited. Rather in the original plan I just want to buy the same video card and SLI it. But after I did a bit learn of overclocking, I increased my CPU at that time I got the for around fifth more than 50% frame rate increase at that time. That's why I do the overclocking and learn the overclocking. That's from that's the start point. My best moment for the competition is it's a local competition in Indonesia is Asus uh, overclocking competitions IOC it's uh, using the AMD CPU at that time at that time it's uh, all professional in Indonesia come to this competition as far as I know Shala is come to to cover this competition there's it's a free for all competitions all senior overclocking overclockers in Indonesia comes and at the and at this comp at that competition, uh, I dominate all the benchmark at the time. So it's very full of glory of my competitions. That's the biggest moment for me. If I compare the overclocking from today and the past, it's already quite different from now. For the past, when we still using LGA 775 platform. Uh, it's quite troublesome for overclock the CPU because you need to sync with the memory, memory RAM, speed, and anything. And the CPU multiplier most likely is locked. And the unlock mode CPU is very expensive, right? It's like the Extreme Edition 1K USD CPU. It's quite annoying because if you want to overclock your CPU higher, you, need, you will need the high FSB motherboard and also the high speed memory RAM, right? And now we uh, and now for look at the new platform now, uh, like a Haswell. If you want to do overclocking, just check by the K K CPU like four seven seven TK CPU. Just put the BIOS at uh, BIOS and change the multiplier F and done. We do, you can do the overclock and we are worrying the memory RAM or motherboard. Uh, only for the motherboard, maybe for the S1, well, maybe just use the Z97 and everything is okay. Even the some motherboard like MSI, Asus, and Gigabyte, there's a one button, one button for overclocking, right? It's very easy for now. But to be true, uh, the overclocking now is more like if you for gaming casual gaming maybe it could increase your frame rate for gaming but it's not as much just like a pass maybe uh, for me for overclocking from now maybe it just to catch up for the highest score for the benchmark not the gaming anymore uh, in the future I just like to want to see the overclocking is back to just like five years ago like 2008 like we can overclock our chip using the chip motherboard and chip processor uh, to get the free performance from our hardware just like that if in the if 
the vendor and just like the Intel, especially Intel, if they can unlock their chip murder, but like H81 and Intel Core IT for overclocking, I believe uh, our over, uh, our overclocking community will grow very fast. Why the chip? Why the chip hardware can improve the growth of community of overclocking? We we can just see the example examples just like when the Intel using the release the Pentium anniversary Pentium G where that can overclock. Uh, we can invite all overclocker in Indonesia for amateur to learn the overclocking with the low budget with the cheap CPU and as you know the, even the Z87 is there's some Z97 motherboard with the cheap press also so they can learn the overclocking if the if the motherboard could come more cheaper I think there are more people will come because a lot of struggle from people want to learn the overclocking is the price no because you need to buy a certain CPU with the more quite expensive price and the motherboard also is not that cheap and after they're buying the overclock the expensive hardware they will afraid to do some overclocking because the of some of main overclocking it will make your motherboard explode Yes, explode. What kind of explode? It's like a bomb. Maybe they think it's just like that. Even my seven years of overclocking experience, I never get some explosion in my motherboard or my CPU. Maybe it's just they like that sli silently. There's nothing dangerous from overclocking. Our overclocking community now is like a more focus on winning, winning. Winning, winning, and winning CPU, searching the highest frequency, you know, is and the most. But it's okay. It's normal for overclocking. I can tolerate it. But the most I don't like it is for the last competition. I like when the someone get some tweaks. They do some research with their hard work, get the tweaks, and win the competition and. Everyone don't know the tweaks. That tweaks, call call the one who get the tweaks is, is a cheater. That's why. And somehow some people in the forum said, "Hey, what did you do? Please give us the hint how to do that." Just like that. If if you don't give the what you do for the tweaks, oh, you are the cheater. You have to share. Sharing is good, but if you force someone to share what you get from your hard work, it's like you're robbing someone, right? That's why I had the African community, you know. I don't know why it it changed. When you do the some tweaks like three years, four years ago, and you don't want to share it with anyone, still okay. Except the tweaks can increase the scores like a double or more than 10%. Maybe you need to uh, tell the XW bot staff how the tweaks done, just like that. If you want to start overclocking for the first time, you, I recommend you to learn about your computer specification first and then search any information or guide how to overclock your platform and then if you if you want to start please don't be afraid that your hardware will be broke as long you follow these tips when you overclock your CPU for the example please increase the frequency CPU first don't touch any voltage setting and after you get some stability then you can change your voltage but please don't too much because any overclocking things what you do what it makes your hardware broken is the voltage not your why that's not caused by high frequency as long you keep the voltage low your hardware will be safe that's it it's very easy
to overcome. I think Taiwan is very special country because all all people who like uh, like computers, hardware, and maybe not just hardware and software too, and also especially for our for clocker will gather in Taiwan for a, for a big event, especially for the computing. So we can meet with our friend from other country in in Taiwan and. Maybe we can join a some competition also for overclocking competition for sure. But honestly, uh, in Taiwan and also the people is quite nice and very honest uh, to the foreigner. So I like the Taiwan and especially for Taiwan trans for transportation too. It's very convenient here. But when I came the in Taiwan. When I compare with overclocking community in Indonesia, quite surprised. The overclocking in Taiwan, almost there's no people no in overclocking in Taiwan. Overclockers in Taiwan, no. because uh, I only see just a couple people as Taiwan is overclocker no, and they are already senior, not the new, not the amateur overclocker anymore. And even the the market the the market for compu computer part component, I see the in Taiwan only focus on the gaming equipment, no? gaming components. There's no more, almost no overclocking components anymore. Even the uh, when I see the shop, they are only selling the like a medium medium high end component. For the high-end company, it's only for gaming. It's quite rare to see any uh, high-end overclocking component in Taiwan market. Even the some high-end memory, memory RAM, overclocking memory RAM, you cannot see the famous brand in this country. It's very, it's very weird.